guys, how you doing today? My name is Venice. Here, today we're gonna be talking, uh, just playing in some makeup. I kind of unofficially started a little thing on Mondays called Mom Makeup Mondays. And basically, I just wanna discuss some things with you all. I love to talk and chat, but in my real everyday life, I always get asked about being a stay-at-home mom, and all these types of questions, tips, whatever. So I figured we can just chat with that. Before I jump into this video though, please make sure you guys subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And give this a thumbs up if this is a series or topics you guys like to discuss. And let's get started. So basically, I'm gonna be using a couple of things that I've used all the time and then also some products that I have not got a chance to play with together. So I'm gonna spray my face with this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray and apply some of the Flawless Filter. Again, I said that I wanted to speak about uh, being a stay-at-home mom and some tips. The first thing that I wanted to discuss with you all and just letting you know, honestly, you need to understand that there are pros and cons to every situation and being a stay-at-home mom is one of them there are pros to working obviously and there are pros to staying home but it's best that you and your spouse sit down and weigh those options together um you need to talk about your finances you need to talk about your state of mind you need to all those things really do need to be discussed and yeah I'm just gonna blend this in. I was using shade five in the Flawless Filter and I've only really applied this to like my high points before, but today I wanted to apply it all over. Also to go along with things that you should discuss and really do research on are discussing and ironing out all the small details, the prop, like anything that could happen as far as problems. When I tell you guys, iron out the details because um just thinking you're gonna float by it might it might be fine in the beginning and some days that might be great but honestly the more you discuss up front before finally fully jumping in the better another tip for me would be finding an activity that is for you and only you now for me it's playing in makeup i love to read i love to do research on different things and Sometimes I like to take those moments to just do that for myself. I'm shaking the uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation in the shade 7. And I have a full review of this on my channel, but I have not used this in a while. Another tip for me would be make a schedule, a clear-cut schedule. Make sure that everything that you want to do with your kids throughout the day with keeping that schedule you should make sure that you have everything written down as far as everyone's activities going on in the house when you're going to be cleaning when you're going to be spending quality time with your family quality time with yourself quality time with your husband and try to as much as possible because again that's things come up all the time try to keep a schedule going and at least writing down when certain things could take place or if something else happens in this place, try to keep a clear cut uh, written out for the whole family to see. And that would help you out a lot. It is something that is easier said than done, especially if you're not a person who is super duper organized. But honestly, the more organized you can get, the better. Um, it would definitely help you out. It would help you with not having to repeat yourself with your family all the time because we know how that can go and then also for me separating errands and quality time because sometimes we can get even with our husbands and our family some people like to do that together but just met, letting everybody know that that's not quality time so stating the difference between when we're together and we're doing this this is quality time but when we're out grocery shopping or picking up things for the house that does not count, <laughs> essentially, because those are things, again, ironing out the details, making a schedule, trying to keep things that feel balanced as if you were at work. 
Um, basically, you're doing that because staying at home is a job and you need to make yourself feel like you're doing something because sometimes staying at home, it can get a, it can get a little hard. And sometimes you don't feel like you're contributing, even though you're the person who's keeping everything afloat. I'm going in with this um, Shantakai concealer. I have not used this with um, with the Charlotte Tilbury products. So again, the Shantakai camouflage concealer. I have this in the shade five. I've been loving this even when I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, usually when I get out the shower in the morning, I just throw some of this on before my kids go into a Zoom call. Another tip that I would have is um, this is another one that's easier said than done is not feeling guilty about not contributing to the household either financially and also understanding that it's okay to ask for help and you should not feel guilty when you need help, whether it's from the people in your household, your husband slash spouse. Um, and honestly, these tips go for if you're are if you are a dad who is staying home. It's just I'm a mom, so it's easier for me. But I'm not dis discriminating against anyone who stays home because it can be tough sometimes. And we're just all here to chat. Okay, I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I am using a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products. I do want to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, but there's a lot of products that I have not used yet or use together and I want to start giving them a try. It's one of these type of applicators and I've been terrified. So I'm gonna squeeze this. Uh, I see it coming up. Wow, that's what she looks like. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I don't know if that's too much or not. So I don't know what to do next. I think I'm gonna apply it with my beauty sponge and then go right in. This is a beautiful shade. I have mine in the shade medium dark. I know a lot of people love this product. She's very pretty. Okay, she's not as scary as I thought she was going to be. I'm going to apply some to the top of my head. Sorry if I'm at a weird angle. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these tips. Right now, I just I was really curious about this product, which is why I'm mostly focusing on the product. Um, yeah, she's really, really pretty. So this side has no product, and this side here. I'm gonna blend her out some more. But wow, she is very skin-like. Mmm, another contour product that I'm enjoying. Guys, I've had this product for months. <laughs> That is so sad, but you have to make sure that you twist it back down. I've heard so many people say that, and I'm just going to stick this back in. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm enjoying this product. I'm going to go in with Color of Passion. I have not used this in a while either. I haven't really been wearing a lot of cream blush because you guys have seen I've been on a powder blush kick. And she is pretty. Perfect for this time of year. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. And I'm just going to finish blending all of this out. Now back to my stay at home mom tips. One of the other biggest things for me is not to look back and have regrets um, for not going back to work. For me, um, believe it or not, you think about that a lot. And honestly, as long as you're, as long as you're focusing on the positive and understanding that everything will work out, you shouldn't focus on the negative of what if I would have stayed at work. Remember, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Again, like I stated in the beginning, there are pros and cons to staying home and going to work. There are, they're both beautiful things and they both could be done. But when you pick a decision and when you start rolling forward with it, go all in. For me, it's all or nothing, but it still is okay to speak to other moms who get it. And, but just knowing that you have to click the negative off and get the ball ro rolling because essentially you are the most important person in your family and everything stops without you, basically. Now, I want to play, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Memorize here, 
And I have Oyster Pearl, which used to be Maria Antoinette. I'm going to swatch her for you guys. I don't believe I have actually used her, but she is a beautiful pearl color. And I have Amber Gold, which I'm going to swatch down here. And she is this beautiful amber gold shade. I think today I want to switch it up a little bit and go with Oyster Girl. Is that Oyster Pearl? And yeah, I'm going to... Ooh, I put a lot on my finger. I'm just going to pick it up on my hand. And I love these because you, you could just tap them in with your finger and they are so nice. And this is what she looks like. Forgive me, there is a cat that is outside that is extremely loud. And I'm not sure if that's picking up or not on camera. But I'm also going to apply some to this side. I love these types of shadows. It's like this beautiful pretty shine. And it looks very, very effortless. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Statuesque on a, on a brush like this. And I'm just going to blend a little bit here. Just to add a little bit more definition up in the crease. Not to do anything crazy. Mm, tap the excess off. I've been loving this statuette shade because it can go with every, every type of look. And because I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes on hand anymore, I've been loving it just to throw in my crease. I also want to use a little bit of this Tom Ford First Frost Quad. And I want to throw the shade, the pinky shade here, in my inner corner. So, throw some pinkiness. If there's any other tips you guys would like to discuss, please let me know. And listen, I can use tips as well. I go through ups and downs as well. And it's okay. Um... Wow, it's looking nice and shiny here. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So basically off camera, I threw a little bit of Statuesque and the deepest bronze shade in the first frost palette on my lower lash line. I also used a little bit of the Gucci mascara on my top lashes. I didn't add any to the bottom and I just added a little bit of Pat McGrath's extreme black eyeliner on the outer corner and just blended it down a little bit and because i'm using all creams i set with this hourglass veil spray i've actually been loving this spray and it is so good when you have creams because it does not interrupt anything it doesn't make anything fall the mist is super duper fine and i definitely noticed a difference when i use this but i also wanted to get on with you guys to share this yes honey lipstick i have not worn this on camera yet but this is what she looks like i haven't worn her a lot except for like around the house but she is a very pretty nude shade this is what she looks like okay guys <laughs> i had to step in really really quickly um, and I wanted to change my lip color. Uh, I finished off the video using the Yes Honey from Charlotte Tilbury, which is very, very beautiful. But because of the blush that I used, I decided to just throw on some of this Gucci, um, lip in Katrine Sand. And this is what she looks like. But yes, with this blush... And lip, it looks a lot better. Maybe next time when I'm using this eye look, this eye look, I will go with a more neutral toned blush. But honestly, I do love how my skin is looking. Everything is just not cohesive. So again, I'm sorry about that. Next time I would do better. But yeah, back to the scheduled program. Peace. But basically, you guys, I hope some of these tips that I've given you are successful for you. Please, this is an open discussion, so you can let me know down below. You work in moms, I want to know. Women who work, I want to know what you think as well. And yeah, thank you guys for spending some time with me on my unofficial Mom Makeup Mondays. I hope you guys appreciate this, and I'd love to see you guys in my next one. Bye!